I'm at one of the world's biggest tech events, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a glimpse into the future. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to the channel guys and girls, I'm M. Kwan here on M. Kwan Reviews and I'm visiting Riyadh in Saudi Arabia where the Leap Tech event is taking place. This is the second year and with tons of exhibitors, 700 plus industry experts from various countries. Let me grab some Arabic coffee first and then let's check out the future of tech today. It's already become hard to distinguish virtual from what is real. Now we've got a waterfall inside an exhibition center. But how cool does that look? All right, so these are really cool products from Snapchat. These are their, I guess, next iteration of the spectacles. And this is really interesting because they incorporate AR into the experience. So they previously had spectacles that you were able to uh, take snaps with, with the cameras on the sides, but this is taking it to another level. So now you're actually able to experience AR experiences within. So we're talking about sort of activities, playing games, other really cool types of interactions they actually look quite futuristic as well what do you guys think and i guess this is the next stage of ar this is probably the most realistic one which is when you'll have the glasses on and then you'll be able to select different options this is probably what we might see in the very near future guys i've been to a lot of tech events across the world but this one here is absolutely just massive in terms of size in terms of what's going on They've got halls and halls literally full of different exhibitors. But the number of people that are here is just mind boggling. All right, I saw this yesterday and I want to show you today. So if you get your coffee made from your favorite barista, things might be changing in the future because these bad boys just might be replacing them. Coffee, it's ready. That's insane. With all the hype around the metaverse, they've got an entire section devoted to it over here. All right, so scattered around this absolutely enormous exhibition center are various stages where they've got experts that are talking about a whole range of different subjects. Tons of really, really useful insights from leading experts. And then you've got areas for uh, health, you've got areas for retail. And there's a talk that's happening right now behind me, which is about AI and its impacts on management. And the more humanistic and dynamic means of connections. is already here in Saudi Arabia. Customer service with a smile. <laughs> okay, so one of the other things they showed off here at Leap were humanoids. And they had a humanoid over on the stage. This was like a robot. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. AI robot combination that works in the medical field. But then when I came out of the main stage, it was a big group of people that were trying to take pictures of this other thing. This humanoid, yeah, check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. But this is basically an upgraded version of the popular robot humanoid thing that was shown off last year. And this one looks much, much more like a real human being, which is where it starts getting scary. What do you guys think about this whole humanoid thing? Is this something that we're gonna have to deal with a lot more often in the future? All right, check out this really cute <laughs> robot. It's not as scary as the humanoid because you know where you stand with this one, but still, quite cute, right? I can only help you with the following services. Okay, thank you very much. I don't need any of those for now. Guys, check out my new friend. Sit. Wow.
All right, this stand behind me is actually a very, very cool concept. So there are some misconceptions about the Middle East, and this one is one that's trying to break them. This is the Apple Developer Academy. Now, it's essentially something that's unique here to Saudi Arabia, not the rest of the GCC, but this academy basically runs two courses, either a month-long course or a, I believe, a nine-month-long course. And essentially what that does is for females, females only, uh, 18 plus, they have the ability to learn how to code with uh, Swift uh, and they're able to basically go through different challenges in these courses with something called CBL, which is challenge-based learning. So it's not like a final assessment or exam, it's basically challenges that happen throughout. And it's a really, really cool concept. I actually would love to see this rolled out across the GCC, including in the UAE. Just when you think you've seen it all, there is another one, hall number five. There are so many halls here full of tons and tons of exhibitors. So guys, those were some highlights for me from thousands of different exhibitors. Let me know what you're excited about seeing tech-wise in the future. And if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe and check out the next cool video here. See you there.